you're sharing a cart, what do you get? This has any ground beef. We're sold out over here. Uh, we have a little bit of 820, I think. But 820 is cool. 820 is cool. What's your like? Sold out the beef, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's it? That's left? That's oh, cool. shit. Y'all ain't got no like frozen ground beef? Uh, we have ground We should have some. If we don't have any there, then we're sold out of the packages too. Okay, cool. Wait, what's a good uh, meat to incorporate for a burger into ground beef? Like, Chuck is pretty good. Yeah, ribeye? Is like ribeye it. good or? Ribeye would be good, but you can't it's kind of a waste to have a bro. But I mean, you, you, it would still be good. You can't, you can't do this place like that. You're gonna <laughs> mince some All right, yeah, ribeye. I'll do some Chuck then. Yeah, I'll do a little, <laughs> we have a grinder, but we, we only the grind the morning. They take, Let's get the was, one oh, patty. Why? I'll, okay, fine. Fail. Oh, fuck. Is Cameron Burke good? I'm Chris, and I'm making a fake Epoi burger because they ran out of Epoi. Also, I can't really speak well because I have retainers in, but we got a substitute. The closest to this, Epoi is basically a stinky ass cheese. So the closest to that we got is the Camembert. If you've had it before, you know it's fire. I'm gonna incorporate it into the patty because mm -hmm. that's how you're supposed to do it. My dad took us to a cat place in SF before, Heirloom Cafe. It was one of his favorite uh, burgers, so I'm gonna yeah. recreate it or attempt to recreate it. Yeah. Interesting about this burger though, it's not made with a tr traditional bun, it's made with the English muffin. So my dad's favorite is sourdough, dad, so go I went Where is he? He's in the bathroom. I'm just gonna make a regular burger <laughs> and give him a side of coke and <laughs> just hope that he likes the drink. What about Hawaiian rolls? I just got it in case. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a brioche bun. Can't look. <laughs> then I'm going to wait for my dad to go upstairs. Where she's going right now. We're gonna do a blind taste test. I'm gonna use this and make smash burgers. And I'm gonna use a mandolin and you cut up my onions thin. I'm so I'm going more gourmet, risky. Lucas is going more classic, safe wood, but if- So Riley, I think when you record, you no. should focus on me a little bit more because I'm gonna win. All right, all right. So I, think, <laughs> I think you should focus on, yeah. I was this close to just ordering from a restaurant. Can you take it? Yeah. Can we some Bro, you know we have literally American premium American cheese. Bye. How do I cut an onion? In half. Okay, cut ends. Boom. Guys, just cut a little bit extra of everything. Shut up. So here is Where's the truth. Where's my onion? You want me to get Jin Fu? You want me to get Jin Fu? You said Jui Ba. Jui Ba. Jui Ba. Jui Ba. I've used this in my life, but I'm assuming it's like this. This is scary. You gotta go like this. You, you also... don't go like this for a man. There's one patty left, and I'm gonna use it. Can you guys just give me the better meat and see if you guys still win? Honestly, Isabel, you're better off with this one. Ain't no. Why? I bought that one because I'm incorporating. Nice. Perfect. Oh, where I'm gonna add bacon to Ooh. it. Lucas, be careful. Lucas. <laughs> it's the right way to cut it. Yeah, she's fine. Wait, Lucas, is it like this? Yeah, I'm always gonna make a onion ring too. But like, I don't have to write. Onion rings? I'm just here to eat everybody else's. <laughs> I'm sweating the onions for my onion jam right now. Onion jam. Yeah. So extra. Why are you giving it? Give it to me as a courtesy. Because I can't mandolin. <laughs> They're this so easy. They're pre-cut. So all you have to do is cut it once. You can't mandolin or mandolin. Yeah. You can't mandolin. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Oh, I forgot I was gonna make aioli. Let's go do that. <laughs> you guys are shocked. Okay, I'm gonna see if I remember this, but my dad taught me a long time ago. This looks like my sister's forehead in seventh grade. I was being so mean to each other. I was being so mean. <laughs> guys being so mean. Shut up. All this trash talk to lose is crazy. Wait, has Lucas ever won yet? You won one. Which one? Spaghetti? Pasta? Okay. Watch 
If you know, you know, best drink in the house. It's a Coke with two slices of lemon. If any of my friends are watching this, they know that I order this in every single restaurant. Look how crisp that looks. Order that. Keep my aioli. Not for me. <laughs> Fuck. All the eggs in here. Your cook is about. Dude, <laughs> you, F you guys. You've never make, made an aioli. I haven't, but I was. Dad taught me. Oh, go. It tastes like fat. It's like spicy fat. <laughs> These are the neglected fried pieces. These are the middle siblings. I don't know what it means. Do you have lemon? Yeah. What else? More egg yolk? Mmm. Alright guys, we're gonna go for some time. Can you give me some rosemary? Yeah. Oh, it's wet! And he wants rosemary. Get him rosemary. Oh, there we go. Hey, look. I think it was in 
incorporated in the burger, right? That ball. I incorporated the cheese into the patty now. Oh, what am I doing? I need a towel. Excuse me, buddy. I need a little grab. Why why reduce why reduce onions? Caramelize? Caramelize onions? Mm. <laughs> mm. One bun, two bun. This is cold bun. Are you serious? Oh, this is like English muffin. Nice, nice toast. Nice bun. Mom napkin? <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here. Um, Should we feed him? Okay, go ahead. Warm plate, plus one point. Not too warm. Hot warm bun. Very good. Good. I don't know good. <laughs> Start with a little soggy on the bottom right away. <laughs> Ketchup and beef. Good. You gotta just do Classic. one bite each first step and then get your double takes. Or... Uh, not so much ketchup. That shit moving. <laughs> <laughs> Broken patty is um, well cooked, juicy. <laughs> oh, this is a big boy. Nice, toast, nice uh, toasted bun, buttery. Nice pickles. Good, but it got a lot of stuff on there. Mm. Good. Pickles. Radish. Good. English muffin or something like that. Mm, stinky cheese. <laughs> okay.
little bitter, a lot of umami from the cheese. Mmm. <laughs> wow, that's more about the cheese than the burger. That would be a very, very, very good ski resort winter burger. Backhanded. Nothing? Thank you. So before this challenge even started, or fig, we made fig for lunch today. Oh, there was figs in that sandwich. Okay. This is the winner today. Um, nice umami. Very original. This one should be a second because the execution was all there. But there was a bit of onion that wasn't raw nor cooked. So it's like a medium stir fry kind of onion. And unfortunately it has kind of an annoying like a watery, stringy texture as you eat it. It kind of takes away from the luxury beef and the luxury brioche kind of um, togetherness. That's Sixth Street Burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the pickles. Very overpowering. <laughs> the bun, a bit soggy. That's why I turned the first one. This, <laughs> a very straightforward, good piece of burger meat in between decent buns. Nice, nice um, amount of meat. But, you know, again, the, these the kids made everything above standard above and beyond standard. Everything is better than, every single one of them is better than anything that you would get. Just a normal place out there. They're all gourmet. There's some tomatoes in here. This So this is more healthy than this guy. So Isabel, Lucas, Chris. Correct, they ding, ding, ding. I was, they didn't have a poire. Who just, who just exhaled? <laughs> Lucas. It's one of that. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, Riley? Yeah. Yeah? Try mine, guys. Everyone's burgers. Thanks. Kind of not as cute. Riley, Riley remembers my oh, epic burger. Mm. Oh, that's good. That was good. Winner. Oh, this is. Good. God, everyone looks like Bia. Post challenge Sorry. reflections. That shit was rigged. Post cooking. I mean. Dude, I knew I wasn't gonna win. Next time I'm gonna fart on my burger and then put a <laughs> oval or lid on it and infuse my fart into the burger patty and he'll think it's flavorful. <laughs> Yeah, I think yours was the least like a burger, but dad just likes the creative aspect, which is why I try to blindfold. Oh. So I was a little nervous going to the challenge because Lucas- He does this every time, but he has a whole plan. He literally had a plan to make like a fig jam, like basically a is this fart ass cheese that you put into food. And he copied it from this restaurant in San Francisco called Heirloom, shout out Heirloom. And well, it was a burger dad had at this bistro that we he really liked and I just remember he really liked it And it was a pretty gourmet burger. So I was like, hmm, it didn't seem that hard. So I went for it and He used camembert instead of a pois, aka fart. Not fart. It's really delicious <laughs> cheese <laughs> but, uh, my, I was kind of nervous because my brother if you put really that in the toilet bowl and scooped it out and put it on a plate for me I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> well, for Lucas's, I was pretty nervous because Lucas is pretty good at classical dishes, American dishes. He does a lot of burgers, you know, breakfast, American breakfast, and um, steak at, in his college dorm. So I thought he would win, honestly. I thought he was taking yeah. it. And I have a prediction that the Ipois burger or the Canyon bur burger is going to give us food poisoning for the next five <laughs> days. That's my prediction. Um, and actually, five days later, in hindsight, yes, it did. I'm better at Asian food, in my opinion. Burgers are not really my thing. I think it's more of a man's dish, burgers and grilling, to be honest. Not to set it into genders, but it's just less of a girly thing for me to understand. You're just a girl. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. I was gonna say something out of pocket. What? That a burger is technically a sandwich, so you should be able to make it. <laughs> These are jokes, by the way. Hey.